Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is a privilege to be here at this facility. Uh, there has been some question over whether or not the governor of the state of Utah would welcome the president of a different party. I think it's insane that we are having those conversations in our country today. When the president succeeds, America succeeds, and we want to find ways to work together. We also do want to push back when we disagree, and I think we've gotten really good at that part, uh, but we need, to remember the, uh, we need to remember the other part of that equation that makes us so proud to be Americans. Please, have us take a seat if you have one. <laughs> one year ago today, we met that sacred obligation when I signed after fighting so damn hard for the PACT Act, to sign it into law. And I want to thank all the veterans' organizations for helping to make that happen, because it matters. The PACT Act is one of the most significant laws ever signed to help veterans exposed to toxic materials and to help their families recover, as well as receive compensation. Toxic smoke, thick with poison, spreads through the air and into the lungs of our troops and their hooches where they live nearby these facilities. I know. I've been, I've been there in, in Iraq and Afghanistan. I've seen them. And you can smell it in the air. You can sometimes see it. And when these troops came home, many of them, the fittest and best trained warriors that we ever sent anywhere, were exposed to these burn pits. They weren't the same. And thousands of troops and had to live in their hooches not far from proximity from these burn pits. The one in, in, in Iraq, my son was about uh, 400 yards from one of the burn pits, living there for a year in his hooch. They breathe that toxic material sometimes for months at a time. And the case of my son and his buddies for an entire year, causing headaches, numbness, dizziness, cancer. He went with the fittest guy in his unit and came home and And he came home, but died of glioblastoma. It's, uh, it's personal for my family, but it's also personal for so many of you.